Afternoon folks. <coughs> well it's my day off and guess what? It's raining. Thanks for tuning in. Um, today it's cold, it's wet, it's miserable, it's December. We just come out of this uh, lockdown and uh, I've just come out for a bit of fresh air and a bit of a hike. Um, it's not biking weather is it folks either, let's be honest. Motorcycle wire camping in weather like this? No. So, I don't know whether you checked into my last video which was about a power station power box for my van build. And um, This is what it's all about today this video folks is um, I'm going to go back to the van, make myself uh, a brew and some noodles and then what I'm going to do is take you back to the process of how I built it. So you're thinking, oh he's not going to do any more wild camping videos and stuff like that on the back. I am. This is another, shall we say, string to me bow. So uh, I've always wanted one and I mentioned it in my last video. I've wanted my own little camper van, day van, stealth van, whatever you want to call it for years. So I'm going to continue my walk down, back down. And I'm getting cold now and chilly and I'm hungry and it's the perfect thing to get back into in the winter time so I'll see you in a minute when I'll show you I've even named it Travis transit van in stealth mode I know daft I always call me vehicles by name I don't know why so I'll see you in a minute so I'm just walking back to the van now on the uh, tour side reservoir uh, honestly it's wet and miserable just stopped raining a little bit <clears throat> so there she blows 12 plate four transit connect long wheelbase high roof lovely lot of van ex united utilities uh, really good condition 109,000 miles well looked after serviced I've just had a recent oil fluids change and a good check over I'll just show you around the other side and open up I'll open up the back you can't see much now at the minute the stage I'm up to is what I've done I'll start off from the beginning add the flooring up the boarding uh, reply sorry not reply I've cleaned everything took the boarding up uh, sound deadened um, the floor so the floor in itself was this insulation stuff is your first layer and I stuck it on using this trim fix then from Holford's these mats which are interlocking I couldn't think called PVA adds a little bit of um, <coughs> uh, insulation to the floor as well so great idea and then when I've built everything around and finished off then um, I'm going to put some um, nice uh, vinyl down, so to, to colour match. How I did the, vet, the bed frame and everything is going to be on the next video, so I won't concentrate on this. But if you can see here, on all the doors, <coughs> so all these came off and behind are all insulated. And I'll go through the stages of the insulation that I did. Uh, quite a bit of work involved. I ply line the roof as well. It's got LED lights. So I'm in, inside my van now, all nice and cosy. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just have a quick brew, quick summit to eat. As you can see at the side there, a little kettle on. But I say it's a, it's a bit of a mock up of the kitchen. So I'm just first time I'm going to use my stove and uh, have some super noodles and something to eat after my hike. So yeah, well, just nice to get into somewhere. Just nice to get into somewhere, nice and cosy, and then just have some uh, nice hot hot drink and uh, just chill out for a minute before the drive back home. Uh, fantastic. So I'm going to take you back now about a month so before all the lockdown situation before anybody says anything uh, I had a little bit of help off my mother and father-in-law doing things 
because I did the work at their house so it's before like the second lockdown and everything so um, and we're we're part of their support bubble so fair play Doreen and Kem thank you very much for your help before so I'll take you back to where I started everything off so I've always wanted to do something and I'm just going to video what I'm going to do so what I'm sat in at the minute is a little Ford Transit Connect um, I'll just show you the van I purchased it the other week I've been thinking about it for years now I know yeah it's not a bike it's not going out but it's just a case of obviously I don't want to leave my car um, middle of nowhere but I kind of wanted a day van and something I could like kind of uh, camping as well or maybe the both of us can go out and just somewhere nice and cozy so something I've never done been planning on doing it for a while is um, make myself a little camper van so I'll just show you the van it's a bit messy inside at the minute uh, but let me show the outside first so it's a 12 plate side opening door that's on the roof vent on it I met me uh, mother and father in law's in a minute because I've got more space to work just inside 109 this is X United Utilities remove the bulkhead so you've got a little fan in it that's noisy when you're driving that but uh, quite excited to do this I must admit uh, looking forward to it but a bit of work involved so you've got a radio in there as well that's coming out uh, 109,000 miles great condition um, yeah it's good uh, so let's see how we crack on so first thing to do so I've got panels to remove and now what I'm going to get get behind and insulate it and then uh, what I'll do then is break this down and show you how I'll do the insulation uh, I've had the floor up already and checked it it's fine so cover any little rust spots but there's nothing really uh, it did have a light on so I've uh, bunged them and siliconed them just done that before uh, so check for leaks might pour a watering can over in a bit I might ply line the roof but this is all going to get some uh, uh, some carpeting so there's a bit of work involved went to take these off before and these are riveted in so I'll get them off and it looks like it's going to chuck it down now typical I'll come back to you when um, I've started putting the insulation in uh, first thing you're going to make it all dead clean uh, ooh, uh, first thing to do is put these in and I'm using Noico uh, it basically it's a sound deadening mat on the panels that'll make a hell of a difference in the wheel arches so that, that's going to be uh, one of the first things when it's all nice and clean and, and the panel's removed. Now, so what I'm doing is um, getting the panel clips up. So easy way to do it, get a screwdriver and then use a fork. A bit, a bit hard one handed. But you get the gist. Right, good morning. Uh, next bit, next stage on the Transit Connect conversion that I'm doing is uh, basically give it a damn good, well, I'll give it a good clean. So I'll just show you. So, yeah, I've absolutely like minted it because this surface has got to be spotlessly clean for putting on the um, uh, sound deadening and insulation sheet. So, I'm going to crack on with that. Uh, oh, first things I'm going to do, any little rough spots like see up there. I'm just going to put some of this Amorite on. Don't worry about the colour because uh, it's going to be covered over anyway. Right, so I'll come back to you when I've kind of done uh, those bits and pieces. See you in a minute. So I just put the first uh, sound deadening sheet on and uh, it's about 10 degrees today so what I've done with the hair dryer is just heat it up a bit and then 
you get a special roller focus so where the patterns are you have to like kind of like push it down that's what I've done so we've got to go all the way along um, I've lined every panel with this Noiko sound deadener you see already it's like a it's a cold damp day today so uh, let's have this door shut a bit so all panels all done that's a like kind of uh, and a tape all around the excess bit so that's all the wheel arches back door panels around the side so yeah not a bad job for a first attempt really um, so inside these cavities I'm going to start at the top and I'm going to use this recycled plastic loft insulation it's free and it's eco-friendly made from plastic bottles um, was that Rockwell stuff which even when I go in B&Q and have a look at it I touched it once and I, I think I'm allergic to it dead itchy so it's called Dial not that expensive so all these bits are going to be done but we're getting there and that's took, that's took me quite a while to do to do uh, to do this bit but it's just cold wet and miserable um, but I am enjoying doing it and it's kind of a little bit of a project right so let's put a bit of uh, a bit of filling in shall we Oh, I forgot to say, um, inside the cavity, I'm going to shove some of this in and like tape it in, silver tape. So, put some in first, then some of this wool in, stuck it down best I can to the back. And then I'm going to just going to stuff up the, uh, the uh, recycled plastic wool on top of that and then foil over it so there's literally no way um, any sort of condensation going to get through right so I just shoved as much uh, this plastic bottle and um, insulation in there in the cavities right the way along and you can see there a little bit where it can't go in the foil is so and then I'm going to tape over the top so taped all up the cavities so I'm going to carry on do all the rest of it I was going to get Celotex material So like that boarded material but I thought you know recycled plastic bottles let's go a bit eco-friendly and uh, I think it'll do the job keep me nice and cozy um, I've also bunged up me holes a bit more in the roof so but I'm glad it's been heavy raining again just testing every little bit possible leaks but yeah it's fine uh, right I'm gonna crack on get it done um, I want to try and box all this off today if I can Brilliant. So I'll just show you where we're up to, just looking at the other side on the driver's side. So this complete panel, so I'm gonna explain what I've done. So underneath you've got the deadening, then you've got this foil insulation, so wrapped across it, then you've got the loft insulation, and then like a vapour barrier. So taking this as an example, what I've done then is cut a piece nice and neat and then take that right across the foam so basically I'm kind of like doubling up on everything and this will act as like a, a vapour barrier so absolutely sealing that I mean it is plastic insulation anyway so it's supposed to be water resistant but I'm kind of like real doubling up on my work could have got like these Celotex sheets um, but when you look at it I mean this foam has an R rating is what like heat rate and I get I have to look up what R means and put a description um, but 2.25 whereas like your Celotex stuff only has like a kind of like one point something so I'm thinking two layers of don't forget the sound deadening and the insulation layer and the foam and another layer of this this is going to be nice and cozy in it ultimately Right, so we've got a bit of a better dry day at the minute. So just to show you, a completed van, all um, insulated. So you're looking at the lot all done. 
best story up because my battery's about to do. It's like a spaceship inside. So every bit, deadening, insulation, uh, all the lot's done. And it took longer than anticipated. Could have been quicker because I could have used that uh, boarding. But hey ho. Right, fairly straightforward really, but quite a bit of work involved. But it's got to be done right because if you if you don't do it right, then um, uh, you've got to have get condensation, moisture to metal. That's what you don't want. So next phase is to carpet it. Um, well, it's sunny. Is cut out the carpet panels and. Uh, using uh, trim fix to put it on i've got to be quick it's gonna rain <laughs> so I'm doing a, bit. a bit of help for my uh, uh glamorous mother-in-law dory <laughs> we got first uh, carpet on yeah so we're just going to do the edges happy with that eh? first attempt yeah yeah so that's the first one done. That's the thing, number one done. Number one we done. We made a very good job we are on that team. Won't <laughs> yeah. get it in before it rains now. I know. Right? Very so, good that. We beat the weather. Right, yeah. that's the first one. I'm happy with that. Right, so with my glamorous assistant again. <laughs> um, to maximise the carpet, you see we've got it on the tarpaulin so it's not dirty. We made sure because all the panels put the back side so we're doing the right bit and just cut round. No, my Watch your knee. Yeah. <laughs> so we're doing all right. Right, so uh, that's the other team. We're happy with what we've done. We are very yeah. good. Done a good, good job. I'm having a rest now. <laughs> <laughs> and don't come again. <laughs> right, so best thing now is having a, having a butter. Yes, yeah. and a cup of tea. A nice big cup of tea. We work well, brilliant. We're well, yeah, good team, Steve. <laughs> Bit of teamwork needed. <laughs> so I'm just in uh, mother and father-in-law's back bedroom. Great, her mother-in-law helped, helped me. Um, I don't know, a cracking job. She's good. She's pretty practical, really. So just to show you that um, all the panels are done. So yeah, quite chuffed. So jobs are good. Brilliant. Peel down the rubbers. So what I'm going to do there is uh, get the carpeting up to that point. So I've never done this. So hopefully it'll be nice and neat. Right, just to show you where I'm up to, which has took me a while, but I'm really pleased with the result. Um, I'd set the uh, rubbers off the door. So I kind of carpeted. Yeah, a little bit there, but the panel goes up to about there anyway, so yeah, so sort of rubbers off this. It's called four-way stretch carpet, and it's pretty easy to work with. That I'm quite proud of that. I had to just unclip it and then just tuck in. Well, I'm quite proud of proud of doing that. Um, and then I'll just finish off and join it up at the bottom. And uh, what I'm going to do with the door, yeah, I'm not so sure. But yeah, the whole panel's got to go on. Where that line is, I know where the panel goes up to, so I've just got to go up and beyond there, really. Uh, yeah, we'll see about that bit in a, in a mo. So where I'm up to, uh, all this side now, you can see, has been carpeted. Now whoever cut that originally, uh, that was out of line anyway, so it's going to be covered up. So yeah, all carpeted, all nice and neat. The only thing I'm a bit concerned about is if we want to do this door, or the back doors, um, you can't have carpet touching the rubber, otherwise it'll leak in. So I'm going to have to kind of think of a way of, of doing that, but I think I've got an idea. And uh, this is just going to be carpeted all along and then put the door door cards in. So there's a door card for there. Uh, there's two door cards on each door to clip in. 
but again with the doors do a do a carpet um, can't do much because again it's chucking it down so we've got this side to do so again offer up the panel and then uh, and see how we go with that so I think this, this panel goes all the way around it and again there's a there's a door card to go in there right so we're all fully carpeted now foil lined we've done the beams all the way around we can see okay it's going dark again it's going to rain again and guess what I've not got enough carpet just to finish that bit but never mind that's where all the door cards are in all nice and neat just got this over the above protect from the rain Right, all the floor, floors all been cleaned. I can start putting uh, some flooring down now. Right, so we're getting there now. Um, I'm just going to put the flooring in, so dead easy. So what I'm putting down first again is insulation, and then I'm using this. It's called Auto Pro Interlocks, so it's kind of um, a bit of like cushioning as well and then I might just keep that down <clears throat> but then I want to put like me sort of bed in frame and furniture then down the middle ish I'm gonna put maybe some lino left over for when we have the old one so this straightforward to put down and again trim fix it so again all high temperature trim fix adhesive I've used for all this. I say it's, uh, it's good stuff. That 120 degrees, it's it's on everything. Uh, that's all the floor done. So insulated underneath with the foil, all glued down, um, and then then it's ultra flooring. So all done. Good, eh? <laughs> right. Next bit. I want to a really tricky bit now and uh, it's putting some pine cladding uh, in the roof so I'll show you where I'm up to at the minute right so what I've, what I'm doing um, is putting like the uh, pine in and in the recess there I've kind of put my uh, insulation in as well so this in I fill up the gaps looks a bit messy on that side but uh, it's been really tricky to try and screw in um, that oh, into that into that metal spark. It's like it's like really solid. Trying to get like um, self-tapping without then splitting the wood. But I'm getting there, and then I'm going to varnish this. So it has took me a while just to get to this stage. And if you see there, you're kind of working on an angle with the wood. So we'll get there. So we're actually not making bad progress now. So what I've done there, instead of using oak battens, which was hard to drill into, see how I kind of supported it? But the hard bit was uh, basically getting into the metal. And then you need a nice perfect straight line. So you see there, shove me insulation in, and you just basically do a few, do a few and then then shove it in. We're getting there. Just gotta get around this bit. <laughs> so finally, all the roof is all uh, panelled, uh, all insulation up above uh, with the um, foil and the uh, insulation stuffed up as I went along so basically did a few, shoved some in, did a few, shoved some in and then uh, it was a bit of a pain actually but um, I think it worked out well a bit of a sheen in it, I've used some what's called Danish oil which you put a coat on with a cloth uh, and then uh, give it six hours, give it, give it about three coats so that will provide 
a waterproof roof basically so yeah quite chuffed for that I'm not amazingly happy with the hole for the fan but I can't really do it any other way really because I need to still operate the fan so I need to something neat I think just to go around that cavity but it'll work So quite a bit of work to get to this stage, uh, but glad I've finished it. So this is the sort of ending of this first part. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please like, share, subscribe, the usual stuff, and uh, sticking with me on this one. So the next bit is when I'll start making the bed or the frame, and then like the uh, the kitchen area. So I'll see you soon, folks. Thanks for watching.